All right, what's up guys? We're back here and it's Turbo Furnace day two. Uh, we have, since the last time, we've bought a whole bunch of crap, uh, including the turbocharger and oil pump, and we've made a lot of decisions and bought a bunch of parts. It's a couple weeks later. Um, and we finally have everything, so we're ready to start putting it together, and we're really hoping that today we could actually light a fire in this thing and get it spooled up. So we'll kind of see what happens. Um, so let's go over the parts that we bought and what we've done so far. Okay, so this right here is a turbo that we picked out. We were gonna try and spec out like what it should be, but we just decided to get a big one because uh, that's more fun. And then here's our oil pump. Uh, we don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we just got a big one just to make sure. We went down to the pipe fitting shop and spent 150 bucks on all these different pipe fittings uh, to make sure that we could get coolant and oil in and out of the turbo. There's three main loops that are going on. Um, the air comes into the turbo furnace here and it gets compressed here and then we're just running it through this elbow and this piece of two and a half inch pipe um, and then we're going to use this drill bit uh, to put a hole in the um, propane tank and pipe that in um, and then there's going to be a fire in there. The exhaust comes into this end, goes out here, we're going to build a flange and get it mated up to the turbo right here. So the other thing that's going on is we have this oil loop. Uh, we're just going to use this paint can for, as our oil reservoir. We'll just hook this high temperature tubing up to the input side of the pump and it will just uh, suck the oil out of the reservoir and pressurize it coming out here. And then we're going to run this tubing um, into the oil inlet over here on this side of the turbo and then it comes out here. Uh, and we're actually just going to build a flange out of this piece of scrap steel and this pipe fitting. And that will screw onto this, and then this will just run back into our oil reservoir. We also got to cool the turbo, and what we're going to do is we just got this garden hose fitting. So this is just going to go straight into the garden hose. We're actually going to cut this tube in half. Um, it goes into the turbo right here, and then we have another fitting underneath, and we're just going to take the other half of this tube and just let it run out onto the ground. So the next step is we're actually just going to build the flange for the oil. I'm just going to make sure that our pump actually pumps oil before we get too far down the road. So we got this extra battery from another project and a couple of quarts of motor oil and I just wired in this little dimmer switch just to see if maybe it would control the speed of the pump um, and I just put our tubing together and I'm just going to pour some oil in this bucket and see if it pumps. All right, so the pump seems like it worked out pretty good, um, even though the dimmer switch didn't really vary the speed of it at all, I think it's gonna be fine. If anything, I'm just like a little bit concerned that it might be too much flow or too much pressure. Call this the total loss cooling system. All right, cool, I'd say there's water going through it. All right, so Vincent's got this flange made up. It's like pretty ugly and the holes aren't exactly the right size for anything, but it's totally gonna be fine. We are just going to tack this thing. Alright, so we just put the other half of the fitting on here so that as we keep welding, we're not going to mess up the threads. Yeah, so the thing is, we kind of suck at welding. This is not a yeah, YouTube we channel. Suck at welding, but it's, fine. it's going to be fine. We're pretty bad at welding, but it's probably going to be fine. If it seeps oil, it's just going to fall in the turbo furnace and burn, and it's just going to be more awesome. I had like a slight problem here. After we welded it, the part bent a little bit, and it is no longer flat and flush. So we're just using some kind of liquid gasket that we had left over from when we welded the diff on the Mustang. We just threw it on the circular grinder and kind of went to town on it, and it's like, it's not too bad. It's called fine. It's Fine. All right, we're getting that oil drain tube on there. Okay, so we got everything wired up here. We got the pump going into the battery, and we have the pump going from the oil reservoir to the pump through the turbo to our custom-built output flange through this drain pipe that's just going to go back into the reservoir and fire in the hole. Is anything happening? Yeah. Is there oil going through? There's oil going through. Ow! Looks like we actually have a puddle of oil coming out of the turbo. So that's, that's not good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what we learned was that the pump stalls because it wants to run a higher volumetric flow through the whole thing than we can possibly do. And it gets really hot and it uh, wants to 
to burn itself out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little T right here with a valve coming off the, the, uh, the T section that's just gonna go from a, a tube and just recirculate back into the reservoir so that we can find the right pressure so that the pump doesn't get overloaded and it's happily running, but then there's also oil coming out of the turbo and that'll be it. We got this flange made after some hilarity with the drill press. And what's going to happen next is Vincent is going to weld this exhaust pipe to the flange. And we're going to grind this thing off right here and then we're going to cut a hole in it using the drill press one way or another uh, that matches the diameter of the pipe. So it's more or less going to look like that. And I'm going to go to Home Depot and I'm just going to get like a little T-junction to go right here. All right, well, unfortunately, Home Depot didn't have any pipe fittings, literally not even a single one that fit the fittings that I brought with me. So I guess that's not going to happen tonight. So that's cool. But we're just going to kind of keep forging ahead with trying to drill holes in the propane tank and welding, uh, welding all the pipes up that we got to do. Vincent's got this thing welded up. It looks pretty OK. That's fine. Just got to kind of grind this off. Shouldn't leak, but it's also not going to matter at all. Ah. Oh, so good. Look at that. Look at what we're doing here. It's going to be Real fine. Okay. Not fine. Not fine. Got it rigged up with like a third point of contact. I'm going to try it again. Good. We got that to happen again. All right. So we got that done after the chuck fell off the drill like 10 more times. We're going to have to figure out what the heck's going on with this thing. Later. All right, test fit it, see how it goes. Oh my god, it's perfect. All right, so we just got done arguing about a bunch of stuff about how we're going to orient the turbo and how long our exhaust pipe is going to be and all this sort of stuff. And Vincent's out there cutting it. We're going to weld it here pretty soon. We've got this thing just kind of put on here just for size. And I got to say, it looks pretty awesome. We got a couple more welds and stuff to do, but it's getting super close. And that's going to be like our intake pipe right there. All right, so day two wrap up on the turbo furnace. Um, basically, we're going to quit right now because we have a lot more grinding to do, and it's already getting to be like 11:30 at night. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so here's basically the layout of the turbo furnace right now. Uh, Vincent's got a cool trick where he's going to do a couple of 22 and a half degree cuts on here so that we can end up turning that and it's gonna make a naive and then we'll just cut a hole in the side of the tank and weld it. So we're probably just gonna use a bit of this three inch pipe to just kind of make the, the gap right here. And it should just pretty much totally rip. rip.